Hello, I'm Andreas, and we're back in XCOM Needs You, and we have a UFO, a radar, landed in the United States. And here's the issue, right? Here's the issue. It's a landed radar. It makes me think it could be possibly an ambush, and we definitely don't have, like, some really decent troops available. That's an issue for us. So, we've got this horrible mix. Jenna Grange is coming as our sniper. Mayone is coming as our assault. With the new Mimic, mimic Beatons, actually. The Mimic Beatons, I'm, I'm wanting to test them out. Like, they're meant to be sometimes really great, and sometimes they just don't do anything. So I'm hoping that they'll be pretty damn good. What they do is effectively they uh, they draw uh, aliens towards the Mimic Beaton, and you can sort of lure them in, and then you can shoot them. It works great against floaters, especially because, you know, floaters are, are low will, and they, you know, often fail. It does cost us uh, three will to be able to equip it, but it's worth it. We also get two, I think. Which is nice. As red as blood. Is our scout for today. Packing the new uh, chitin armor. Pretty tanky now. We've got uh, the Aegis armor and the chitin. Getting up to 15 health. And also two words that I pronounce wrong all the time. Two rocketeers. Both at Corporal. Because we are running out of troops. And they have decent aim. So I was like, you know what? They're going to get scopes anyway. We might as well give them pulse rifles. And the best armor to make up for the fact that that will mean they have crappy move. So... Aegis armor, pulse rifles, scopes, and extra rockets. I'm going to be relying on blowing the crap out of everything on this map. I'm really hoping. Really hoping. Uh, Super Dragon is coming along. Still haven't got a second uh, auxiliary weapon. I don't know what you call them. I haven't got a second auxiliary weapon. We've got the one at the moment, the flame for I'm waiting for the other ones to be done. Tim Gibbs is coming along. Uh, no one else has psychic powers, I think. Oh, Manny does, but manny has got a shotgun. So, yeah, um, that's why the new gun link's on Tim Gibbs. Because, frankly, no one else was going to need it. So, new gun link in scope. We've got, you know, a crazy amount of aim here. I think we're up to, yeah, 115 for our gunner. Should be pretty good. Should be able to hit most things. Admittedly, the move's a little bit on the low side. Um, I do prefer having a slightly higher move, but no Age of Sound was available. And, you know, I'll, I'll stick with 11. It's fine. Tim Gibbs is one of our few remaining gunners, actually, like, one of two high-ranked remaining gunners, I think. Uh, and certainly the only one we have available at the moment, so... Especially considering the team is somewhat weak, I do want to be able to take out enemies pretty quick. Tim Gibbs is going to, you know, really pull. Uh, Tim Gibbs is going to really be carrying the team here. And Tori, a specialist medic, because the only medic we had available who wasn't a Master Sergeant was a specialist. Ouch. Now, the reason that I don't like Tori, I'm sorry, Tori, is that, that aim, 58, as a specialist. That's three up from the bottom as a rookie. That's poor. That is really, really poor. Only 11 health as well. So, let's go, and let's hope that Sleepless Dragon, Tim Gibbs, and a crap ton of explosives can carry this mission. Now, of course, explosives aren't quite so good indoors, because uh, you're a little bit inaccurate. Well, I'm going to have to hope this goes okay. I also hope we can, you know, abuse the Mimic Beacons as much as possible. Now, I don't have, like, infantry to use as an Overwatch trap on them, which is a shame. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. The alien craft landed in the remote area, which should help to minimize any risks to the surrounding area. Yeah, okay, Central. We need to and eliminate Dear any hostile God, forces annoying. encountered. Mission objectives updated. Come on. Are we there yet? 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 It's a lovely bit of the uh, United States, you know, mid-United States. Um, big, big uh, pine forest and... Yeah, okay, well, hopefully we'll not encounter too many enemies. Hey, right. Hugh, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Edge Sky. The map. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status Edge at the, the site is unknown. So we're not on a massive map. Not a massive map. I'm trying to remember it. I can't quite place it off the top of my head. Like, I'm, I I should know it, but I'm, I'm like, I can't remember. There is something about this map I don't recognize. Aye, aye, Commander. X-ray spotted. Oh, God. That was soon. Elite Mutant Berserker. And a Mechtoid. What? Okay. We can beat these guys, alright? And I know he's got the, uh... That, that Overwatch up. But, 
We can get that with the mech. The mech will get shot. I don't mind too much. The chem here is going to be super important. Damage reduction and aim. And also aim on the elite mutant. No captures available, unfortunately. I haven't got any uh, engineers. And Franklin's going to have a half, hard enough time as it is. So I decided not to bring uh, an arc throw on a person who's going to take one slot. Get shot at by the mech. We did get hit, but you know, the mech's advantage is mech, mech, yeah, mech toy. I should probably call them mech toy so I don't get confused. The mech's advantage is that he's got a crap ton of damage reduction. Might try and get someone else to bring him closer. Heading to that location. 61% chance of side panic. Not really worth it. Only six. Okay. Should panic. Yeah. Question is how to kill him. That is high cover, right. So yeah, that's good. Because I can get a three shot. And he's shredded. I probably should have gone for that very early on, actually. And close combat specialist. I didn't think that would trigger, but cool. Very nice. Okay. And then we could possibly get a side panic... Hmm, mine frame might be a better choice. I'll try the side panic. Yes, okay, leave you in panic. It's pretty good for us. Gotta be honest about that one. That is uh very nice. And eight on a mech. Oh, I love it when you can get through the mech to a damage reduction. It's just so satisfying, right? It goes from being something that's incredibly tough to being something that's like, you know, bearable. You're probably going to go on Overwatch even though you're crap at it. Um, what else can I move? I can't move into high cover anywhere, which means I probably want to be moving into low cover and then uh, hunkering. Oh, you have to be kidding. Really? I have to move to here. I have to try and open up a second front. And my sniper is so low health, it's unreal. On the move. This might trigger another pod of enemies, but... chance to be shot in the back now is fairly high. I'm going to move Six Dragon that way because I think uh, engaging the thin one with the flamethrower would be probably more productive. Sixty-five percent chance to hit. Five. God damn it. Well, I'm glad I went for the panic then. Tori is dead. Yep. Tori is dead. Oh, I don't think we can do this mission. It might be an ambush as well. But I think we have to pull out. Ah. That's, that's my gunner. That's my gunner who's just taken a longer time in the hospital. I mean, the biggest issue is that we don't have any medkits now, so I can't heal any of this damage and continue on. Of course they choose the gunner. The one person I said was indispensable. I'm 
on it, Commander. I guess I've made a decision to continue without really uh, properly verbalising it. Does that catch them on fire? I don't think it does. Come on. Get a good hit. Acceptable hit. Right. I think uh, as well as blood, probably move Moving to here. Out. We can use a shotgun. I really wish I could take that guy out. Still, I can get this guy pretty well. Come on, crit. Oh, you can't even hit. This is why I hate mechs. I don't know why, but I'm just cursed with mechs. Even on decent rolls like that, they consistently perform badly for me. Uh, I can't actually get a decent running gun here. Oh, because you're injured, so you take your uh, move malice. Not great. I'm on the move. Oh, great. There was someone overwatching. Oh, I'm so glad that missed. What have we got? 63. We might have to shoot the guy up there because he might be able to flank us. That's my only issue, really. Heading to that location. I still can't get a kill on that guy. God damn it. He's unkillable. Um... I would move to here, but I could totally trigger enemies. I'm going to do it anyway. I think I have to risk it. The moment here gives me high cover. It also means that, that guy moves forward. So he'll probably get himself killed. I will move here. It means minus 10 aim. So I won't be taking any risky shots. I'll take that guy. He's got less health. No spitting for you. Nice. Good job. Just stay panicked for at least two turns? That would be nice. Sure, do that. Mm. Close comp specialist. I really shouldn't have trusted that. You know how often that fails when it's at different heights, but you know it succeeded there. It's been it's been doing good for us lately, actually. Close up specialists really has been paying off. Four? Oh, that they chemmed me, so I don't have any damage reduction. Oh, that is sneaky. Oh, that is sneaky. You cheeky buggers. Okay, I don't think we can complete this mission. I think we could probably wipe out the enemies that are here, but I don't think we can complete it. Alright, well, let's kill this guy. Visual on the goods. Okay, what have we got? Does nine damage. So there's a possibility of a kill there. Good. And I can't see him. Moving out. I don't know why I'm standing next to him. I could have used a rocket. That completely devoids the you know possibility of using a rocket. On the move. Oh well, let's try and get some hits. We're pretty good aim, so hopefully I've just cursed us. No, we got it! Got no ammo. Bye -bye. <laughs> that mech hates us right about now. You've been acided three times in the same sort of one turn period. Um, on 
very nice. See you in Iraq. Frankly, I don't really know what to do now. We could go on, but the chance of this going on and having some real issues are fairly high. Oh, don't tell me I missed one. No, 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 no. I'm really vulnerable to getting shot in the back right now. now. They're moving to flank me. Okay, well, that helps. They're, they're certainly helpful buggers. Hi. Please die. Not a problem anymore. He's not a problem anymore. Alright, how far can I throw a Mimic Beacon? Pretty far. And I could pull all the enemies uh, in this area up to the, this uh, Mimic Beacon. Now, that would be a terrible idea. I mean, the other option is to just leave. And frankly, the two people I'd want to be doing most of my damage, my assault and my gunner, are really badly injured. Um, I'll risk it with the Mint Beacon. If they come to get the Mint Beacon, I'll try and kill them with some nice rocket overwatches. If they don't, I'm going to piss off because I'm not staying around and risking getting completely and utterly annihilated. Moving. We're green to go. That's affirmative. On the move. Roger that. Right, how are we doing? Sniper does need to be moved in position where sniper can actually see people. Tends to be helpful. Tori's dead, by the way. I, I, I do I didn't mention Tori because you know frankly even if we leave now Tori is dead. Uh, the problem is if we leave, I think there's a good chance, about 50% chance we'll leave Tori's weapons behind, which includes a carbine, which is worth about 150, 170 quid. It's not great. I mean also Tori was, you know. Actually, a pretty awful medic and only a specialist. I'm going to be honest. That's not the biggest loss there. Really isn't. Uh, sorry, Tori. I guess we'll overwatch. Oh, mutants. I don't know if I can fight a mutant with this loadout. Like, I probably can... But whether I really should is a different matter to can. And you acid yourself again. Good job. Good job there. We're not fighting until you're unacided. Um, I probably need to move you up as well. But I do want to reload you, so I'm going to take a turn to reload you. I'm just going to stand still for another couple of turns. There's no reason for me to charge in at the moment. And if I charge in, the only chance of what will happen is me dying horrifically. Okay, so enemies are there, which means that Mint Beaten probably get them. I mean, there's a chance they'll be too far back for the Mint Beaten, but I'm hoping it'll be, you know, reasonably good at getting them. Chuck it to here, then one turn later, move forwards. Okay. What's making that noise? Is that them moving forwards or something? Maybe? Copy that. Right, this is exactly what I wanted. I can spot the movement beam, but I can't spot anything else. Which means that anyone who moves forwards will be visible to me, and then we can get some good kills. That's the theory. Practice is a little bit different. Right. Now let's check our range of our rockets. Not far enough, so we need to be able to blue move forwards at least once. That's 
not really close. If I want cover here, there isn't any cover. That's not cover. Yellow move will be too much. I'm on the move. You move, so you can't fire very far this turn anyway. Um, oh, the choice is the choice. I think we just have to yellow move. Manny really can't move very far. I think Manny's now just a psychic support troop. I hate to say it. Manny's done some amazing work so far, but actually I can't even move Manny into any cover forwards. None of this is cover. Manny's probably just going to have to stay put. Uh, frankly, there is nothing Manny can really do. Is that cover? I can't tell. Oh, Manny's actually ended Manny's turn. Uh, because, you know, Manny was on throwing the grenade. Sure, yeah, okay, I remember now. I'm, I'm not stupid. Uh, but still, you get the point that it's not a great situation for us to be in. I'm really laying my hopes on this uh, beacon, by the way. You can tell. Let's do this. And steady aim. Um, here. And then I'm thinking. Here. Okay, move towards the beacon. I don't know if they're moving towards it. I, I can't tell. Headed there now. Head into that location. Frankly, if they aren't, we have to leave. I'm not going to fight two outsiders and probably sector commander as well, including whatever nasties they have inside that ship. I'd like to. It's not It's not an ambush. It's just a very poor start. Um, and it did result in, you know, death very quickly. Got it. Moving. Time to motor. Position confirmed. Okay, are we in position? Yeah. Steady. Steady. Now they're not running at me. I hate to give him a win. Oh. Plus, you know, if we quit now, it is worth about 300 bucks. We're going to continue on. I'm just going to hope we can somehow carry it. It depends what we run into. If we run into something particularly tough, we might just have to leave. But... Hopefully, if we're lucky, if the spawns are with us, we might have to carry this. Maybe. But that'll be in the next episode. Unfortunately, I'm going to put a cut here. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Andrew Elysium. If you liked the episode, please like and also subscribe. Please consider subscribing. It really helps out. And stay shiny. And sorry, Tori. <laughs>